Welcome to Texas, Beaumont, Texas to be exact, about an hour and a half east of Houston on the Gulf of Mexico. The location where Jefferson Energy is creating new opportunities for bulk ethanol loading and unloading for their customers. Ethanol is a biofuel made from crops like corn, barley, and wheat that is said to improve octane and emissions. With over a billion cars on the road around the world consuming over a trillion gallons of gasoline a year, the quest for fuel options is never-ending. So creating the infrastructure to get these fuel products transported as safely and efficiently as possible is crucial. That's where transporting by rail comes in. By shipping with rail car, you're able to control the quality. So you're able to sample each car and keep batches together so you know it's, it's a top quality product being shipped. And the benefit that Jefferson had was a deep water port. So we're able to bring it in by rail car from the Midwest or really all over the country, bring it into the Beaumont area, unload it from rail car into tanks so they can go on vessels to ship overseas to the export market. So in the past, when Jefferson Energy would look at a project like this, they typically would have to contact an engineering firm to do a feed study. The tools that we have at SafeRack, we're able to provide them a very accurate budget number, as well as a concept, usually within a plus or minus 5% range. In order for this concept to work, it's all about turn times. The unit trains need to be able to come in, unload quickly, and get back on the tracks to go pick up the next loads. Working with SafeRack, Jefferson Energy uh, landed on a scope that 30 spots of unloading would allow them to justify doing this project. Um, if, a, if a customer can't uh, get their products to market, the projects don't happen. The, uh, this particular unloading system was a 30 spot system, 15 unloading spots per side. Uh, it was a tracking gangway system that was designed to index off one of the middle cars so none of the rail cars would have to be decoupled, which is a huge time saver in the unloading process. As with anything in the rail car industry, there's a lot of variation in the rail cars. So trying to make it to compensate for misspotting of the rail, trying to compensate for various length cars, various connections. We incorporated all that in our platform system and provided the unloading equipment so the train can come in, unhook the cars, and move off to go get more cars, and it's just a seamless process. Most terminals take anywhere from three to four hours to unload uh, 15 rail cars. We're, we're unloading 15 and setting up the other 15 on the other side and unloading them within two to two and a half hours. So the efficient rate of utilizing the SafeRack equipment is helping us to be more productively moving the product into our tanks and out of our tanks to the ships. SafeRack provided a complete package for Jefferson on the ethanol rack, from the loading rack to the hoses to the connections, the grounding units, so that we could almost have a plug and play system. You know, we're working with the rail car manufacturers to understand the latest connections, the way the top of the cars have changed, the way the bodies of the cars have changed. So it's not just about building a, a loading rack, you know, so wide, so long. It's to make sure it's going to work as an integrated system. This is what we specialize in, the integration of the equipment on the loading rack so we can make sure nothing's going to be forgotten, nothing's going to be missed. Then when the customer's ready to start moving their product, they can hit the go button and it's going to work. Jefferson Energy had a particular time frame in mind that they needed to have this job completed for a startup and commissioning date. Uh, the process of getting the contract completed and then getting all of the components there to be complete by their use by date was very, very difficult. But because we are able to be so nimble and adaptive, we were able to make that date. The weather was the major challenge. At that particular time of the year in uh, Beaumont, Texas, there's a huge amount of rain. Uh, we were also hit by it's Hurricane Harvey. It's a Category 1 hurricane just this afternoon, 85 mile an hour winds already. Be the first Category 3 to make landfall in the U.S. in more than hurricane a decade. Hurricane Harvey's on the way. Category we're 3 hurricane. incredible rainfall amounts are Breaking possible. News, Along Harvey provoking an unfolding flooding disaster in America's fourth largest city, Houston, Texas. Beaumont, Texas has been dealt an especially tough hand in the wake also of Hurricane battered Harvey. battered Beaumont, Texas. The city's among the hardest hit in the state. In 2017 was a record rainfall of about 97 to 98 inches of rain for the whole year and it's, it's unheard of. 
Safe Rack was challenged to try to keep us on schedule. And they'd done everything within their power to work the time that it needed to pull us back into schedule to be able to be ready for the offload on the first rail car that came in. And you know, this leads to additional business where we've gone from doing the ethanol product rack to the refined product rack. The refined products rack followed closely on the heels of the ethanol rack uh, was another fast-paced project. The, uh, a lot of the engineering was being done as we were building the project, uh, which was completed in time to get all our fabrication correct. Once again, the fabrication and the structural went together exceedingly well. We started out with, uh, with a three-spot single-sided and came back very soon after that and doubled the capacity of that rack to three-spot double-sided. And we also added metering and the, the ability to meter to different products on different sides of the rack. In March of this year, that rack will double in size, which we're looking forward to. Again, you've got to be able to start up on time, get product moving, because in the end, that's trying to keep not only their customers happy, but the people who are supplying them happy.